In the sun, square prism is resting on on its base edge on HP. See this? It is resting on its base edge on HP. An axis inclined at 45 degree to HP. See this axis inclined at 45 degree to HP. Now we can't draw directly axis inclined at 45 degree. So what we will do? First we will draw axis perpendicular to HP. First we will draw square prism, which is resting on, on its base, right? In such a fashion that edge will come on right hand side. See this. So what we will do? We draw square prism. A, B, C, D in front of you will be a rectangle that is A dash, B dash, B dash, C dash right and this is X C so now that given X is inclined at 45 degree to HP see this when you see now see this X is inclined at 45 degree to HP right so this base will be inclined at what angle? If you see axis inclined at 45, this is perpendicular. So then base would be at what angle? 45, 90. So this would be 45. So what we will do? We will take 45 degree from here. We will take this distance, take this to this and cut on this side. So we got this base over here, which is inclined at 45 degree. This is inclined at 45. Then I'll draw 45. 45. Then I will take this distance and I will cut it on this. So we have drawn a square prism which is inclined at 45 degree to horizontal right so for this construction we have done this resting on this base is resting on horizontal now we do the meaning this is a dash d dash d dash c dash we project from a dash d dash and project from a and b so get b and b same way b dash c dash and we extend from b and C, which we get BC. Now, if you see the main diagram, the square prism has two square. One is at the bottom and one is at the top. So, what we have done, we have done the top, top part of the prism. Now, we need to know the bottom part. So, what I will do, I will leave this bottom part as well, PQ, RS. So, this is P dash, S dash, Q dash, R dash. P dash, S dash, q dash, r dash. So p dash from here, p from here, you get p. q dash from here, q from here, you get q. r dash from here, r from here. s dash from here, s from here, you get s. Now we need to see visibility. When observer will see from the top, now he is drawing top view. So where he will be? He will be at the top. So when he will see from the top, first thing would be, Extreme edge would be down, so all the boundary lines would be down. Now, after that, when he's seen from the top, a dash, d dash is nearer to him. See the main diagram. When observer will see from the top, this part is nearer to him compared to this part, right? So, this part is nearer to him, so that's why that would be down, ad would be down, and qr is away from him, so that would be not him. Because when he will see from the top, he can't see Q1. Now we draw axis, you project O dash from here, M dash from here, O N from here, you get N, O. And this is axis. So, we have drawn a square prism which is resting on its base edge of HP 
with axis inclined at 45 degree to HP. 